Welcome back to the tutorial series on editing the video lead capture templates. This is lesson 5 and will be our final lesson in this series. And in this lesson we're going to be embedding the, uh, the opt-in form into our template. And just uh, to recap on what on this uh, area here of the template, you might remember we uh, edited the uh, graphics in the program to produce this here, which was this for this graphic here form background, and it is the background of the form, but there is actually no form on there, so. Uh, we can safely assume that this is text based. So if I just uh, get rid of that and bring up the text editor and search for first name uh, in the HTML file. straight away. So I'll just close that. And we found first name and it's uh, in this table uh, data. It's table data within this table row and within this table. And also between uh, in this table we have our uh, email name and we have our table data here which is the submit button. So we're going to be uh, getting rid of all that. We won't need that. So we're going to be using uh, our uh, our um, opt-in uh, our data from our uh, auto responder. So if we want to get take that all out, I'm going to take out between the table row and that table row. Click delete, missed a bit there, and uh, click on save, go back to our and refresh, just stop that again, and you can see that uh, that information is gone. So now we want to bring in the information from our uh, Aweber or, or whatever autoresponder you're using and we want to bring it into Notepad so we can examine it. So if I start a new file, now I've already done this previously, I've opened up my uh, Aweber account and I've already highlighted the uh, data, the form, HTML form data and when you do this, make sure you do use the raw HTML version and not the JavaScript, right? When you do a form in in a, either Aweber or whichever autoresponder you use, make sure it's the raw HTML data that you get, right? So if we click in there, click copy, go back to the lead capture template, and bring up the index for our, oh sorry, notepad, for our text editor, and paste that in there, and that's appearing as, as plain text at the moment, but as we said, that we know that's HTML, so I'm going to save as uh, HTML, which is help text markup language, save it, and now you can see we've got our coloured text in there and this at the top is uh, this black and white here is just to do with our uh, form in Aweber we're not going to be using any of that because we don't want any colours or in the form our colours are already there so we can just dispense with that or not worry about it if we go down to here that's the end of the style Here's the beginning of our form. I'll just highlight that tag and that tag. 
there's our form data and that's what we're going to be using on the template so if we highlight that remember it's the form tag and between all data between the form we're going to copy go back to our index file and where we took that data out we're simply going to paste now I'll save that go back to our index file and refresh it alright so there's our Aweber opt-in form data posted into our template ok so I'll just go back over that again and what we did was we established that this was the indeed the background image and without any text fields on there so we assumed uh, of course that this is text based and what we did was bring up our index file and we searched for the text first name which came up with this here which we located as data, table data within a table row and also the next table row was the email the text input field and the next was the submit button so we got rid of uh, everything between the last table row and the first table row then we went over to Aweber we extracted our form data in raw HTML back to our template brought up our index file pasted our raw HTML into the uh, into our text editor then we saved it as a HTML file hypertext markup language then we examined the file and we found the form data there between the two tags we copied all that copy we went back to the index file replaced the data that we took out saved the file refreshed the page notice here we've got first name it was the original so refresh the page and there we're left with the uh, Aweber opt-in form that's the end of our last lesson on uh, editing the video lead capture templates if you have any questions or uh, feedback please use the comment form below and also if you have any uh, ideas for improvement or if there's anything that's unclear to you please uh, again use the comment form below or the contact form uh, to the left hand side of this uh, window alright I look forward to hearing from you and thank you very much for uh, watching bye for now